Hello, my name is John Hohenschelt. I'm president of Paragon Industries, and we provide many different types of kilns and furnaces for Rio Grande. This video is going to cover how we program the Caldera kiln, the Bluebird series, and the Fusion series offered by Rio Grande. None of these kilns have preset programs, so these are all going to be what we call user-defined programs. So before we can start programming, we need to be able to turn the controller on. So finding the on-off switch, turn it to on. At this point, you should hear the beep, and you're going to get some numbers with a dash in there. And that is just telling us what configuration the software is and the software version. That should go away in a few seconds, and what you should then see is idle alternating with the temperature that's inside the kiln at that time. All of the programming starts at idle. So from here, what we're going to do is to go ahead to start programming, we're going to press the start stop button. Once we do this, the program light should come on and it should show a PRO1 or whatever the last program was that was used. There are eight programs that can be entered by the user and that will be stored in the computer. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and enter a program into program one. But if we wanted to enter it into any other programs, we're going to have to scroll up to pick the program. We're going to have to use the up arrow only. At this point, do not use anything but the up arrow. So for here, we're going to use program one. So once we have PRO1 on the display, we're going to go ahead and hit the start stop button and select that that's the program we want to enter. Then we'll come up with, and it's going to ask us for the rate. The rate is all going to be in degrees per hour, and this is how fast we're going to go to a certain temperature. So for here, let's go ahead and we're going to select 200 degrees per hour. So in this mode, we can either use the up or the down arrows. If you, if you hold the up or down arrow for an extended period of time, it'll scroll at a much faster speed. So here again, we're going to select 200 degrees per hour. You can look at it, it says RA1, that's rate one, at 200 degrees per hour. Press the start button to select that. It's then going to prompt you with a degrees F, and that's asking you to what temperature we are going to fire the kiln in the first segment. So for instance here, we're going to go ahead and go 500 degrees. The next thing it's going to ask for is if we want to hold once we get to 500 degrees. The hold is capable uh, of holding up to 99 hours and it is separated by the decimal point here separates the number of hours is to the left and the minutes are to the right. So for right now it says we're going to hold for one minute, but we're going to go ahead and select for 10 minutes. So now our hold time is 10 minutes. To select that we'll press the start stop button again. Now it's going to ask us for the next segment what the rate is going to be, again in degrees per hour. So here, why don't we select 500 degrees per hour. So we hold the up arrow and we allow it to scroll at a much faster rate to get to 500 degrees. So now the rate for set the second segment is 500 degrees. We select that. Now, let's go ahead and go to 1,000 degrees. So now we're going to go in the second segment, we're going to go up to 1,000 degrees. 
We're going to have a hold in here and we'll go ahead and program the hold for one hour. So the hold here is one hour and zero minutes. Press start stop to select that. When you are done entering all the segments, the way you tell the computer that I'm not going to program anymore, when we get to the first segment where we're not going to use it, we leave zeros in in the rate. That tells the computer the programming is done and we're going to go ahead and try to run the program. So we select zero rate for rate three. It then says STRT, which is start. It asks you if you want to go ahead and start. You press start again. The display shows on. You're also going to see the run light come on. That means it is in the running mode and the display will now show the temperature that's inside of the kiln. Within a few seconds after this, you should hear the click of the relay and that tells you the program is being run by the kiln. And that is how you program these controllers.